Good morning, fellas. Uh, we'll start here in the computer room today. Uh, what is it? King's Disaster Garage, HO Motorsports, and Scott H454. And uh, they all suggested that we bring it around the corner. And uh, and not split the corner as far as the paint is concerned. And uh, so last night we did that. And I like that outcome a lot better. Uh, so does the wife. So. Also, if you look down here, it lines up with the stairs. So this line here, draw it straight up will give us that so I have it there and I'll have it there on that little stem wall and then with the ceilings because the ceilings will remain white but the wall so thanks guys for the thought and the idea I really liked it a lot <clears throat> yeah the plug wire set came in last night So, me and my son will be, sons will be changing this out this weekend. And, uh, let's see, going on 9 o'clock, what is it, 20 to 9? You know, we're almost 90 degrees in here. And monsoon season has started in Vegas. We're under a flash flood warning from, started at 3 o'clock this morning and will go until 8 o'clock tonight, according to the weather last night. So, uh, my son, he's a tech for uh, Finley Chevrolet, came by last night, and uh, I gave him that clip, and he's going to give it to the guys in the parts department, see what they can look up in the catalog and what they can find. Uh, yeah. Anybody want some MSD stickers? Give me a shout out and I'll, uh, or drop me a PM, I'll drop them in. I don't collect the stickers like that. I collect U YouTube garage stickers, but I don't collect uh, high performance stickers. So if anybody wants these, just let me know. Uh, yeah, so we'll be doing this on Sunday. And that should wrap up everything underneath the hood. Then we can put the hood hinges back on. And, uh, and put the, uh, hood back on and uh, still got to find figure out something to do with the clips uh, I'm going to come up with plan B here and uh, we'll uh, we'll figure that out uh, also today uh, Richard my buddy Air Fo old Air Force buddy he's an IB retired IBEW electrician he is uh, coming up Let's see, zoom it in. That transformer there for the doorbell. And there's an address sign, as you can see, cross the street. See the white address in my neighbor's house. There's, it's lit. There are four small uh, low voltage light bulbs in there. And that transformer died. And so he's coming up and we're gonna work on that this morning so there won't be anything on the car so that's all I got for now uh, thank you everybody who answered on the clips uh, fortunately uh, I haven't been able to find anything yet uh, I did come up with plan B uh, somewhat it's a clamp it's a small clamp that will fit on right underneath here there's a lip and there's a small clamp that I'll put on that lip and then the quarter inch hole and then I'll put in uh, some clamps to sit there and some to hold it up <clears throat> still have a few more emails God I must have emailed everybody and their brother on this I still have a few more emails on this and uh, haven't heard all the answers back uh, I suspect we won't get into this until probably towards the end of the week if not Saturday 
and uh, finish this portion of the job up and uh, go from there so that's all I got for now uh, as always thanks for watching when I have more I'll turn this back on later hey fellas just a quick note uh, let's see transformers changed out the doorbell works and the lights work again we put a bigger transformer in there because of the wattage of the light bulbs I might have to change those on the uh, on the address sign all the houses have those address signs well that one's in the tree uh, there's the one over in the garage over there and they all take small little peanut bulbs to low voltage and uh, the uh, well, I, and uh, I put maybe bigger wattage bulbs in there and might have burned out the original transformer but Richard said they size those things too small anyway so it served the purpose for 18 years in this house so good good enough no emails on those clips uh, let's say anybody having those clips uh, I spent all afternoon at McFadden Dale which is a huge hardware store it's one of the best hardware stores we got in town and looking around and coming up with ideas to make the clip or to come up with something to do it uh, I got I think I got a plan A, plan B, and a plan C. And right now my son took the clip in to work with him. I think I said earlier in the video, he's a tech at uh, Finley Chevrolet. And right now they're researching it to see if what they can come up with or what they can find. Uh, if not, then uh, we'll try one of my ideas and see which one is going to work the best and, and give me the better job out of, out of all of them. Uh, Plan Plan A is a it's a little piece of aluminum with a thumb screw on it that uh, they use to lock windows. You know your sliding windows that slide. They used to put it in the track and it stops the window from sliding. Get that? Uh, I got them and it's got a little flange on the back of it. Drill that out an eighth inch and do uh, uh, the the uh, loom that that has the eighth inch uh, Christmas tree lock-in type stud on the back of it and just push it through the hole and then hold it there uh, plan B is to make my gets find some aluminum C channel make it and then get a buddy of mine to weld up aluminum tab on it with a quarter inch hole and do the same thing and then plan C if you've seen them is uh, they have now anchors for uh, for uh oh god now I can't think of it these things god I can't think of the name now uh, go ahead it's par for the course cable ties there we go and uh, it's a little flat platform that the cable tie has an adhesive on the back and you mount it and put it in well if you take a look at the adhesive they got it's just a little standard two-sided two tape so you take it one step further and you know those 3M picture hanging uh, ones that you put on the wall and you could take right back off again well yet you could buy the the double-sided tape for those and then use the double-sided tape for that that way I'm thinking I'm going possibly going that way because it's going to be the cheaper and probably the easiest way to sit there and get this but uh, we're gonna have to see but first I want to go back to the original way the factory did it and uh, even though this is far from factory car and do it with those uh, clips that I showed yesterday so that's all I got for today tomorrow the granddaughters are here and Saturday I'd like to have some sort of direction on which way I'm going on this so that's where we're at right now uh, so we will be uh, picking this up on Saturday y'all have a good evening later